Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving the general gas equation. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get going. Question 1 says that a sample of gas occupies a volume of 80 litres at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 3 atmospheres. If the temperature is doubled and the volume halved, find the new pressure of the gas. Well firstly you should note that the temperature value is given in degrees Celsius so we need to convert it into Kelvin before using the general gas equation. So remember that the general gas equation only holds for temperatures in Kelvin rather than degrees Celsius. So we always need to convert from degrees Celsius into Kelvin if we want to use this equation. So writing down what we know from the question we're trying to find the new pressure which is also known as the final pressure P2. We know that the initial pressure P1 is 3 atmospheres which we can just leave in atmospheres as long as our final answer is in units of atmosphere as well. The initial volume V1 is 80 litres, the initial temperature T1 is 25 degrees Celsius which we need to change into Kelvin, so adding 273 to that gives us 298 Kelvin. We're told that the volume is halved so that means that our final volume V2 is going to be half of 80 which is 40 litres. And we know that the temperature is doubled, so now that we have the temperature in Kelvin we can double that to find the final temperature T2. So T2 is 298 times 2 which is 596 Kelvin. Now it's worth pointing out that if you doubled the temperature in degrees Celsius to get the final temperature, that wouldn't work because you're doubling a temperature in degrees Celsius, but remember this equation only works if we use Kelvin. So you need to convert the temperature into Kelvin first and then double it. So writing down the general gas equation, we have P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 3 times 80 divided by 298 is equal to P2 times 40 divided by 596. Now to get rid of the fractions we can cross multiply, so we can do the thing in the top right times the thing on the bottom left is equal to the thing in the top left times the thing in the bottom right. So if we put that into our calculator and simplify both sides, we end up with 11,920p2 is equal to 3 times the 80 times the 596. So this value here was found from doing 298 times the 40 and then we've got the times the p2 part there. And then we've made that equal to the 3 times the 80 times the 596. And now putting the right hand side into your calculator and dividing by the 11,920 gives us p2 on its own, which is a final answer of p2 equals 12 atmospheres. Or another way of writing this is 1.2 times 10 to the 6 pascals, because remember 1 atmosphere is atmospheric pressure which is 1 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Question 2 says that a gas of volume 23 litres is initially at a pressure of 12 kilopascals and a temperature of 200 Kelvin. The pressure is then increased to 140 kilopascals and the temperature increased to 300 Kelvin. Calculate the final volume of the gas. Well firstly you should note that the temperatures are given in Kelvin so we don't need to change them from degrees Celsius into Kelvin because we've already got them in the form that we want to use the general gas equation. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find V2, the final volume. We know that the initial pressure P1 is 12 kilopascals. We know that the initial volume V1 is 23 litres. And we know the initial temperature T1 is 200 Kelvin. We then know that the final pressure P2 is 140 kilopascals. And lastly, the final temperature T2 is 300 Kelvin. So writing down the general gas equation, we have P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 12 times 23 over 200. It's equal to 140 times V2 over 300. Now we can cross multiply to get rid of the fractions. So we can do 140 times V2 times the 200 is equal to the 12 times the 23 times the 300. So writing that down, we get 28,000 V2 is equal to the 12 times the 23 times the 300 where the 28,000 was found from doing 200 times 140. So now you can put the right hand side into your calculator and divide by 28,000 to get V2 on its own, which gives a final answer of 3.0 litres. Lastly, question 3 says that the pressure of a fixed mass of gas in a container increases from 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals to 2.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals when the container is compressed from 100 centimetres cubed to 75 centimetres cubed. If the initial temperature of the gas was 25 degrees Celsius, find the final temperature of the gas. Well, just like in question 1, note that the temperature value is given in degrees Celsius, so we need to convert it into Kelvin before using the general gas equation. So we're trying to find the final temperature T2. We know the initial pressure P1 is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals, which is atmospheric pressure. We know that the initial volume V1 is 100 centimetres cubed. The initial temperature T1 is 25 degrees Celsius, which we need to change into Kelvin. So adding 273 to that gives us 298 Kelvin. We then have the final pressure P2 is 2.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals. 
and the final volume V2 is 75 cm3. So writing down the general gas equation, we have P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Substituting in the numbers gives 1.0 times 10 to the 5 times 100 divided by 298 is equal to 2.0 times 10 to the 5 times 75 divided by T2. Now we need to cross multiply to get rid of the fractions and get T2 on its own. So we can do the top left times the bottom right is equal to the top right times the bottom left. So this gives us 1.0 times 10 to the 7 T2 equals 2.0 times 10 to the 5 times 75 times 298, where the 1.0 times 10 to the 7 was found from doing 1.0 times 10 to the 5 times the 100. So now you can do the right hand side in your calculator and divide by the 1.0 times 10 to the 7 to get T2 on its own, which gives a final answer of T2 equals 447 Kelvin. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.